Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update August 27th, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 274. As always, I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, so if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, an update on Van Gogh Gao and Ma Yili's detective drama and an update on Xing Zhao Ling's latest. But first, here are some more cheesy or Chinese Valentine's Day stuff since last episodes were so well received. Here's Chen Yi and Zhang Yixi in Awakening Chang'an. Chen Yi is enjoying a surge of popularity right now with love and redemption. Here's Xu Kai and Li Yitong in Court Lady. Jing Tian and Vin Zhang in Rattan. I'm digging Vin's snazzy white getup. This is Liu Luo and Bai Lu in Love is Sweet. Liu Luo again here with Victoria Song in Broker, isn't he the popular one? Zhao Lu Si and Ling Shen in Dating in the Kitchen, and Alan Ren and Fair Sing in Miss Crow with Mr. Lizard. Those are just a few of the many dramas that released Valentine's Day posters yesterday. Xiao Zhan released a few selfies on his personal Weibo account, and on the same day, his studio also released this batch of pictures. Here he is, hanging out on a spiral staircase. And staying on Xiao Zhan for a bit, The Wolf released a teaser picture montage type of thing yesterday. It was to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day and is available to view on their Weibo page. Still no official word of its premiere, but it's a positive sign that they're actively trying to keep it relevant and that it's not completely shelved. I also came across another piece of entertainment news about Xiao Chan yesterday, although it seemed to be more entertainment than news. The article claims that he will be filming a new drama with Li Sheng, entitled Hope Love is as Bright as Ever, and in it he will supposedly play a lawyer. Although that sounds exciting, I will wait for an official announcement. Then there was another article that published these pictures and claimed that he's flying from Shenyang to Nanjing to film a drama. From these pictures, we can't even tell if that's really him under all that. It's always best to wait for an official announcement from Xiao Zhan or his studio regarding his dramas. The problem with that though is sometimes productions like to keep things top secret and we as fans, we like to know what's going on. It's a predicament but not much we can do about it. Which is why when I come across articles like those that I just mentioned, I just kind of read them for their entertainment value and take them with a pinch of salt until I hear something more official. And moving on, here are some dramas that have recently premiered. God of Lost Fantasy is a costume drama starring Peter Sheng and Olivia Wang and it premiered today, August 27th. It follows a couple of skilled cultivators who help a crown prince retrieve his throne and restore peace to the kingdom. It's available on Yuku and I haven't found any sites that stream it with English subs yet, so I'll update again on that front. Maiden Homes is a costume drama starring Sabrina Chen and Zhang Linghe and it premiered today as well. It follows the Prince of Qi played by Zhang Linghe as he investigates the reason behind his removal from power and meets a young constable played by Sabrina Yao who's fighting a case for her family. Sabrina Chen plays a cross-dressing character in the recently aired My Unicorn Girl and now in this one as well. At the moment, Maiden Holmes is only available on Tencent which means no English subs yet. It will be available on Viki and probably WeTV as well with English subs. I'll update again on that front. So a couple of good costume dramas to add to our selection headaches this week. The dramas are coming thick and fast folks. And sticking with costume dramas, here's Love Like White Jade. Love Like White Jade is an upcoming costume drama starring Wan Peng and Gala Zhang. They wrapped filming on August 21st and released their first character posters. Wan Peng plays a maid at the Langya Pavilion. She serves a young master while secretly investigating her missing twin brother's case. Gala Zhang plays her young master who's investigating his father's mysterious death. They discover that the culprit behind the two cases is the same person and work together to bring him to justice. So it's off to post-production now for the Love Like White Jade team and I'll continue to bring you guys updates on it as they provide them. 
And before we get to Van Gogh Gao and Xing Zhao Ling's dramas, a word from this episode's sponsor, Hello Drama. Are you getting ready to stream a new drama? Well, you'll want to get Hello Drama's Ni Hao Drama Lover's Box to go along with your viewing experience. When you open up the box, you'll be greeted with an array of goodies, including Chinese snacks like milk tea and canned milk. The milk tea was featured in The Brightest Star in the Sky and the canned milk in Lovely Us. Instant noodles and brown sugar milk tea popcorn, yummy! And a bath bomb and beauty masks. The Ni Hao Drama Lovers Box makes for a great gift idea, and you can order online now at hellodrama.com. That's hello-drama.com. And moving on, Vengo Gao and Maili's latest. Miss S is an upcoming Republican era drama starring Mai Li and Vengo Gao, and they've officially announced an August 28th premiere. That's tomorrow. plays an elegant and mysterious detective, and Vengo Gao plays a detective superintendent in this drama about crime mysteries in 1930s Shanghai. I first saw Mai Li in 2017's The First Half of My Life, in which she starred with Xing Dong, and she was impressive in that. She was recently in On the Road with Liu Ye, and is rumored to star in the upcoming Blossoms with Hu Ge. She certainly gets to work with her share of talented leading men. Vengo Gao's most recent hit drama to air was of course Eternal Love of Dream, in which he starred with Del Raba. He ditches the long white wig for this drama, but you'll get to see him in those wonderful 1930s suits and haircuts. If you guys have been yearning for more Vengo since Eternal Love of Dream ended, well your wait is almost over. The drama airs tomorrow, and I'll update again on where to watch with English subs. The Eternal Love 3, starring Xin Zhao Ling and Liang Jie, wrapped filming on August 24th. Here's Xin Zhao Ling with a bouquet of flowers during the wrap ceremony. And here's Liang Jie with her bouquet. The Eternal Love series released its first season in 2017. It was an instant hit, and its stars Xin Zhao Ling and Liang Jie surged in popularity. Season 2 came out in 2018 and picked up where Season 1 left off. So far, no word of a synopsis of Season 3 or when it will be released, but I will continue to give updates as they provide them. The Eternal Love series has often been praised for its star's on-screen chemistry, so it's no surprise that they keep reprising their roles. In fact, they paired up again for a recently aired drama, You Are My Destiny, which unsurprisingly did well on viewing charts. And finally, Marry Me. Marry Me is an upcoming costume drama starring Xin Zhao Ling and Shane Xiao, and they recently released this poster to indicate that it's coming soon. Xin Zhao Ling plays the capital's most eligible bachelor, who falls for an intelligent blind teacher played by Shane Xiao. Through a series of comedic events, they end up marrying three times. I first saw Xin Zhao Ling in Princess Agents, in which he had a supporting role. Since then, he's been busy with a slew of starring roles in dramas. Shane Xiao hasn't been a slouch either. She starred in the recently aired The Little Nyonya, which did really well on web drama viewing charts. And that's it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, the link to it is in the description below. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!